Our primary focus really is to transform the basic sciences knowledge in molecular and cellular biology to the patient care. As to how do we really transform that advances to the patient care? So we do both trying to understand new knowledge or create new knowledge, but then transform that to individual patients. So we have today seven different clinics addressing the, those needs of patients. So we have clinics like oncology clinic, cardiology, neurology, pharmacogenomics, and these clinics basically allow patients to be seen, analyzed, and then we provide them a specific treatment for that patient based on the genomics. So the personalized medicine clinic in oncology is really unique. Uh, we have a number of patients who send their materials or request to have their materials, their, their tumor biopsies and such, sent out for whole genome sequencing, uh, other types of genetic profiling. Some of this we do in-house uh, in an effort to find out exactly what is the right treatment uh, option for a patient based upon the defects that we recognize in their genes. Uh, this clinic is, is a very patient-directed clinic, uh, perhaps a bit different than what we do in the laboratories, which is directed at our oncology colleagues. This gives uh, patients an opportunity to come in and speak with an oncologist who can help them understand what the changes in their, in their genes mean for their tumor, uh, and also understand what uh, different types of treatment and clinical trials will be available for them to get a better outcome from their, their cancer treatment. We've developed the Genomic Health Initiative in North Shore, which is a program where we embark to enroll thousands of patients so that we can collect their blood, analyze their DNA, and determine whether this DNA is important in a variety of diseases, both in identifying the diseases and predicting outcome from these diseases. We are finding many different clinical programs throughout our organization that are interested in taking this information and improving on their treatment and their predictions of disease in their particular field. Pharmacogenomics optimizes pharmacotherapy or improves patient drug experiences because we're reducing side effects or reducing the probability of a patient receiving a side effect and increasing the chance of them having a positive response. So we're able to begin to eliminate drugs that have a low probability of working, where in standard care, we wouldn't have this data to use it. So if you look at, say, depression, uh, a newly diagnosed depressive patient, you have about 10 drugs to choose from, and each one, the literature shows, has a chance of being effective in any patient in the population, but you don't know which one it's going to be. And so using pharmacogenomics, we begin to cut that 10 down to 5, down to 3, depending on how many genes you're looking at. When you have a 1 in 3 choice versus a 1 in 10 choice, you got a much better chance of getting it right the first time. The primary focus at the Center for Medical Genetics is to better understand how our genes and changes in our genes influence one's health. There are a lot of benefits to being able to perform whole exome sequencing, especially in a clinical setting like we do at North Shore. It's really opened us to an opportunity to look beyond traditional associations with our genes, as well as more discovery as it relates to human disease and genetic influence of risk. We have capabilities in the laboratory that, that many places don't have. We've been doing molecular diagnostic testing for 25 years. Uh, we're experienced in sequencing and next-gen sequencing at RAISE and a whole variety of methods that allow us to examine a patient's genome, their tumor genome, their microbe genome in a very effective way. I went to North Shore University Health System because I thought that uh, they were using the latest technology that could address some specific concerns that I had about my health in regards to uh, future care. I was interested in finding out why I had uh, not usual responses to medications to see if there was an answer to that question. When Dr. Dunnenberg called me to, to give me my uh, official results, he also mentioned that if in the future, I were to have a heart attack and had stents in my coronary arteries that the medications that we see on TV frequently would not produce any effect. So the solution in my specific instance is that I would use the older medications and that would work for me, whereas the new medications would not be effective. We're really on the, the edge of a new era in medicine. We're about 10 years after the whole human genome has been sequenced. We understand a lot more about those genes, and we are on the brink of going from using DNA information diagnostically 
to be able to predict uh, what is likely to happen in a person's life in terms of developing different diseases. And as we get through these next few years, I think we'll be able to offer a lot more for patients in terms of preventative medicine, avoiding diseases, minimizing the effect of diseases on their life in the best way possible.